How's it going everyone? Man's Spada here, bringing you another episode in the Pokemon TCG series. So, I'm going to be taking a break from the event games and going to be playing with the Soaring Storm deck. Picked it up quite recently, I think I've had maybe one game with it. So, let's see how this compares to using the Laser Focus deck. If you watch my previous videos, you'll see that I've I've had a lot of success with the Laser Focus deck. Um, so far, it's been my most reliable theme deck in the theme deck challenge. As it's performed very, very well in both the Versus ladder as well as the Event ladder. So, I'm quite interested to see how Soaring Spite goes. Um, I've had a lot of games against it. And I do feel that... Do I want to go first? Uh, I think I want to go second. I want to get Pressure going. Rather than Evolutions. Because my logic behind that is... I feel like Tornadus and... Thunderous deal a lot more than Dragonite, for the simple fact that Dragonite ends up using a lot of energy. Um, this is not bad, actually. Hello, random person. Emerson Fivecha? Sacha? I don't know. Fivecha? Uh, hello to you too. So I quite like having Grimer down just to, to get collects off quite easily. I'm going to mute this guy because I feel like he's going to be chatting quite often. Uh, wait, oh, fucking no, sorry. Mute player. Okay, and let's get Chinchou down. So I quite like the start of Grimer. The fact that you can run a collect, doesn't cost you any energy, and you get two cards off of it. Now the problem is that this Grimer, retreating him is going to be quite an issue. Um, so if my opponent doesn't go for attacks, it's going to be a very slow process of getting him out. Also, I do apologize if I sound a bit bunged up. I am quite sick, which is why I haven't released a video in the last two weeks. Um, so yeah, hopefully... I don't sound too bad. But catcher, ah, no luck there. Okay, and let's go for connect. So for those of you who don't know, on the Pokemon cards, when you see this symbol next to a Pokemon's attack, it means that it doesn't actually require any energy to use the attack. Uh, this makes it a very, very nice utility Pokemon, as I'm able to get collect off without dedicating any energy to this Grimer. And in a deck that requires a lot of energy because of Dragonite, um, it's fantastic. Being able to not have to waste an energy on your first active Pokemon. Now, I am slightly concerned as my opponent's got quite a good start on their hand. Um, and I do not. So, I'm actually going to go for Cynthia because I do not like this hand. Uh, let's put the Chinchow down just in case. Cynthia, let's get something better, please. That's not better, but the Pokemon Fan Club is what I need to get this deck going. So I'm okay with it. Um, no, I, I don't want to lose Dragonite. There is Tornadus, that's great. That's actually very, very big. That's halfway. So this deck revolves around having Tornadus and Thunderous. One on your bench and one your active Pokemon, and they end up dealing more damage, um, more or less damage based on if you have them both. So the fact that I have Pokemon Fan Club allows me to bring them both out, so I can really get this deck going. Ah, oh, sorry, I still feel really bad. Um, Considering I already have a Tornadus, I can actually bring out a Pidgey, so I can get airmail going down as quickly as possible. Uh, I'd actually rather get airmail going quicker than getting out a Dratini. Uh, I do quite want to get rid of the Salazar. A Salazar, sorry, not Salazar. Um, let's get some draws going. There's actually a Dratini, that's quite nice to see. Uh, let's go Pokemon Fan Club. Oh no, that one Pokemon Fan Club. Oh, I can't take that back. Ah, oh, damn. If Dragon out, then I need Chuck. Um, ah oh, man, I must click. I went to click on Pokemon Fan Club. Oh, that is such a problem. Uh, 
Oh, man. Oh, well, that happens. That's disappointing. Oh, well, that happens. Um, oof, my opponent's like got, uh, yeah, my opponent's actually got a really good start, and I'm making quite a few misplays. Um, let's see. I do have, like, I love using Welder, and I really hate being against it, because it's just such an absolutely fantastic supporter card. The fact that you're able to put two energies onto a Pokemon, and then draw three cards, is so powerful. Um, it really is terrifying going up against it. This lantern might be going down. Ah, oh, I'm so irritated with myself for that. Because the problem is this puts me a turn behind because I would have been able to evolve my Pidgey this turn. Okay, um, do I do damage to all the banished Pokemon? He doesn't really have weak banished Pokemon. This deals 80 damage, this only deals 70 damage, but it requires less energy. I think I'd rather start powering up the uh, Tornadus. Um, yeah, I'm going to lose Lantern here, but... I can't afford to keep this the Slazzle around. The card advantage gives my opponent this is too great. That's actually a nice Cynthia. Um I can get some good value out of it. I'm surprised they went into Mewtwo. Oh, he's got Welder, he's fine. Never mind. Yeah, we're gonna go Welder, charging up two fire energies onto the Mewtwo and then dropping the Psychic. They'll be good to go. Um, I'm hoping my Tornadus and Thunderous haven't come in too late. I do prefer getting them out a lot earlier than this. So I'm a tad concerned. Um, oh, so he took that back on top of his deck. Oh, okay. Next turn, he could weld off. Okay. So the nice thing is I can actually use Lantern to take out this Mewtwo, which I am more than happy to do. Okay, let's get this Pidgey off, uh, Pidgeotto off so I can get some airmails going. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm okay with the water energy. Um, I don't see myself using Cynthia right now, so let me rather go for, um, Huey, Howie, I always forget how to say his name. And let's take out this Mewtwo. Yes, I want to discard my energies. Okay. I'm okay with that. It lets me fish for something I actually need. Considering I don't need Dratini right now, I can drop off the Pokemon communication and bring out Dragonite. I would like if Lantern doesn't go down this turn. Um, I don't think he will. So my opponent doesn't seem to be actually charging up his Mewtwo's. Um, So it's a bit of a strange play from my opponent's side, but each to their own, I guess. Let's charge up this Tornadus. Let's get an airmail off. If I forget, I don't need a Grimer this late in the game. I definitely need energy this late in the game. Let's get a Pokemon Communication. Sure, no, not Pokemon Communication off. Let's get a Tate and Lisa off. I want to switch my active Pokemon. I want Tornadus to come in. So I can get some damage down. And I want to get Pokemon Communication off, because I want to get my Dragonite out. And let's get the Shiny Dragonite, because why not? So, Dragonite. This really is your ace of your deck. It's very expensive to run. It's got a Dragon Impact, which deals 170 damage, but you have to discard three energy cards from this Pokemon. So it's a good finisher. It's really bad to have out early. Um, it's Pokemon Power, however, it does allow you to... Once you turn before you attack, you may attach a water and a um, thunder energy card, or one from, or one of each from your hand to your Pokemon any way you like. So it enables you to really charge a Pokemon very, very quickly, which I'm going to do to charge himself up. And let's put them onto Dragonite. 
Okay, that is all the utility you have to do. Let's go into it. And Thunderous Punch. Now, it is a bit disappointing it doesn't uh, one-shot the Mewtwo. That being said, it does spread damage quite nicely and just put a little bit of pressure onto everything else. And I'm really okay with my opponent putting a listen down. Um, where is this energy going? I presume it's going to go into Mewtwo. No. I think he's aiming for just one-shots, because both of these Pokemon can one-shot whatever I play. He's literally leading up to just a whole bunch of one-shots. Oh, really? Um, I actually really do want to get another Tornadus, just in case my one goes down. I'll be able to get both, actually. Another fresh set. The deck does run Fisherman, which is so useful. I think it runs two. So I'm fairly certain one of my prize cards is a Fisherman. Um, I'm actually going to hold off on this ability because I want to charge up the next Tornadus that comes in. So I don't want to actually play an energy card just yet. Um, so I want to make sure my fresh Tornadus can actually come in and get charged up very quickly. So let's just keep this damage going. One nice thing about Tornadus is a one retreat cost. Now the energy, I'm actually okay picking up energy so like this. And Thunderous as well, again, only one energy cost. Okay. So my opponent does have like four one shots going in a row, which I'm a little bit concerned about. I'm trying to think whether they have a... Choose an energy card to move. I'm trying to think if they have another welder in their hand, and I think they do. Put Lantern down. Let's get Tornadus down. And let's start getting this ball rolling. Dragnap, let's charge you up. Well, not charge you up, sorry, let's charge up my Tornadus. Let's go for a bug catcher. Hey, come on! That's two for two I've lost. Airmail. I'm actually okay getting a second lantern. Now the question is... Oh, I don't need to. I'm being stupid. My math is failing me this morning, apparently. I thought I had to do um, drop my energies for that attack, but I forgot he'd already taken 40 damage. And that 70 plus 40 does indeed equal 110. I'm liking this deck so far. The combo between Tornadus and Thunderous really does pay off. It's very strong. Hmm, he's got 130 HP. Tornadus won't actually knock him out. Mm, yeah, definitely want an energy card. What are the chances of, having, of him having another welder? I can't actually remember. Mm, I think Fisherman right now is a much better play. Um... So the thing is, Thunderous can run by himself, so I'm not too concerned about that. My opponent's down to three prize cards, which is a slight worry. Uh, let's get... Let's first of all make sure that Tornadus is ready to go. Let's make sure that Dragonite is ready to go. And let's bring back some energies from my discard pile. That going. And uh, I think there's anything else I need to do right now. I'm going to hold off on playing the Thunderous just for the moment. And let's get some damage off. Now, unfortunately, this is not going to knock him out. But unless my opponent has a welder, this is actually not a bad situation. Right, let's see. 
Because we've already got racked up 60 damage on this Darmatan. I've already racked up 60 damage on the Terminator. Already racked up 40 damage on the Cinderor. So I've got this damage racking up slowly over time. Um, and I quite like that. I am quite okay with my opponent racking up that damage. I think I've got this. <clears throat> he doesn't have a welder. Okay, that's actually really good for me. Because this enables me to get more damage off onto his bench. I'm actually really grateful for that. Let's get some more energy going. Um, yeah, let's drop this Tornadus. Uh, actually, no, let's hold off on him for now. There's nothing else I have to do here. There's airmail. Uh, Lily is not going to help me. The energy most certainly will help me. So like I said, this dragon is very heavy on energy. Um, okay. That's everything I need to do at the bottom. Let's go. So I think I've got this because next turn, what a, no matter what he brings in, my dragon I can take it out. So that's actually this is most likely going to be our first win with a stick. That's quite exciting. Um, I always like getting the first win on the channel with a deck. It is a fun deck. Um, I want to be just top deck that. Uh, this is a very fun deck. It really does seem to run around Tornadus and Thunderous as being your primary heavy hitters. And your Dragnaut really does seem to be a better support role and finisher rather than your main heavy hitter. And the reason I say that is because he uses up so much energy to do his attack. You don't really want him out there in the early to mid game simply because you're going to run out of energy. Whereas Tornadus and Thunderous, they're not that difficult to get online. And they're able to do a lot. And they're able to rack up damage quite consistently. I think let's close this game out with Dragonite. Simply because it is his deck. So there's a Dragonite. I've got one prize card left. And let's go for that Dragon Impact. Really? One, two, three. Done. That's quite cool. I enjoyed this game. Um, I don't feel like this deck is as reliable as Laser Focus. Um, I do find it quite interesting though. It is a good deck. It's got a lot of utility. I like it. I think, oh, not, sorry, Soaring Storm. I don't know what I called it re recently, but I didn't call it a Soaring Storm. Sorry, the deck's name is Soaring Storm. I know, I know I said it incorrectly earlier. Um, I think I said it called, so, called it story, Soaring Spite, but Soaring Storm. Um, yeah, I like it. It's different. Going up in a mirror match, so let's see how this goes. I do feel like it's better to go second with this deck. Because you're not as rely uh, reliant on evolutions. So I prefer getting the first attack off then. Hey, got Lily on the first turn. I actually, yeah, okay, I guess I'm okay with that. But I need to draw into the Tornadus. And otherwise this Thunderous is a really bad opener. Really bad opener, actually. If I don't have the uh, Tornadus. My, po my opponent got the opposite. The problem being that I'm not going to get a first turn attack off. My opponent's going to get the first tick of damage. <laughs> mm. This is a problem. I'm going to lose this very early. If my opponent has gets the Thunderous, I'm in serious trouble. This is not a good opening hand. I might lose this one. This is a terrible opening hand. Ah, uh, the joy of card games. Sometimes you just get, no matter how good your opening, uh, sorry, no matter how good your deck is, just some really bad opening hand can just end the game for you. And I feel like this might have just happened. Yep, that's game. Because he can now bring out a Thunderous. 
I literally need my opponent's Thunder Rushes to all be prize cards. Otherwise, yeah, this is gone. Because next turn he's going to bring out the Thunderous Tornado. Um, whilst it's not going to knock me out, I'm going to be in serious trouble. And Thunderous Gale is not going to KO him. KO him. And that's another energy card. Oh, man, this sucks. This is a bit disappointing. But again, this isn't really the deck. This really is more of a really terrible draw. Having five energy cards and only evolution Pokemon in your hand is far from ideal. Ah, oh, man. I don't think any any draw I have is not actually going to make a big difference. Yeah, I think this is going to be a very short second game. Hmm. So I'm going to drop Raging Thunder, which will knock out his Tornadus. But unless I get a basic Pokemon this next turn, I'm I'm gone. Really? Not a single basic Pokemon. Ah, oh, that is frustrating. That is incredibly frustrating. Come on. Okay. That is something, at least. Um. Oh, man. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, what is my opponent doing? They could have brought out Dragon End and ended the game with Tail Whap. Okay, I'm not sure why my opponent didn't end right there. Um... Smash the gas, if you're watching this, you actually had to win Conan with Dragonair. Tail Whap would have taken out Thunderous for only one energy. Very confused by that play. Very confused by that play. I actually don't know what I want to bring in with Pokemon Fan Club. Um, things I really want to bring in a Thunderous and Tornadus. But I've got a very good setup here. If I bring out a Dragonite and I bring out a Dratini, sorry, and I bring out a Chinchal, I've essentially got that setup done. I don't know what I want to bring out. I think let me just go for safe play and bring out my evolution Pokemon. Shinchao and Dratini. I think that's the better play. Um, as much as I want to run the Thunderous Tornadus. Yeah. Let's get the Chincha going first, I think. So Raging Thunder is going to hurt me, but unfortunately there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. Hmm. I can't go for Cynthia until I get this Dragonite out. I'm literally going to have a, a utility dragon out down in the field. It looks like my opponent is having serious energy problems. So I've got energy flood and my opponent has energy drought. This is a very awkward game. Very awkward game. I'd love for another Pokemon fan club right now. That would be the perfect draw, I think, would be Pokemon Fan Club. To be able to bring out another Thunderous and another Tornadus and actually have my bench going. Mm. 
Hmm. Oh, he's lost Tornadus already. Okay. I wasn't sure if this was the second Thunderous or the second or one of each. So now I can finally go for th the Thunderous Gale, but I don't actually think that's the right play in this sense. I think it's better to just carry on loading up damage. Because I can't let my opponent get this online, it's too dangerous. This Lantern going. Uh, I can't use Cynthia just this turn. So, Raging Thunder. Poor Dragonair. And yeah, that's the second KO. I'm keeping my opponent's energy down. Um, and I'm three prize cards up, so maybe there's hope for this game. I don't know, I'm still finding it such a strange game. The thing is, one energy here on the Knuckle Punch Tornadus will actually close up my Thunderous. Uh, so I'll finally bring my Lantern in. And then I hope to draw into a second Thunderous. Hmm, that's what I was worried about. Look, I'm not too concerned about this, because next turn I can take it out of the Lantern. I'm getting 140 damage next turn, because I don't know if my opponent has seen this yet, but Tornadus is weak to Lightning, and I've got a Lantern ready to go on the, on the bench, so I'm not entirely sure why they're loading up this Tornadus with so much energy, because he's just going to lose it. I definitely want the lightning energy. Very strange game. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if my opponent's really paying attention at the moment. Because there's been quite a few strange players. Um, that's actually a fantastic draw because I could bring up Thunderous. Okay. Thunderous down the field. Um, let's get this Tornadus going. So, uh, wait, how much energy do I have in my graveyard? I've only got two, I don't want to do that just yet. Uh, let's use your ability to charge up. Oh, wait, you can, yeah, sorry, call it two of the same. To charge up Tornadus. Let's continue to charge up Tornadus. None of this I really want. Uh, let's bring out a chin charge just in case I need something to kill. Um, I think now want to play Cynthia right now because I really want to use. Actually, no. Let's rather go for Cynthia. I was thinking of using Fisherman next turn, but I think Cynthia gets me more value. Uh, there's a second Tornadus. That's good to see. Actually, that's very good to see. And yeah, let's do it. So I've somehow turned this game around. Um, that was a big misplay for my opponent, not finishing the game when, you, when they could. And that's something I really can't stress enough. If you can end the game, end it. Never, ever, ever give your opponent the chance to come back. If you have lethal, take it. Uh, as you can see now, my opponent literally had the game in the bag. Um, they could have... Knocked out my only axe Pokemon when I had no bench with a tail whap from Dragonair. And that would have been game. And I am now sitting with two prize cards left. With a much better ball state than my opponent. So please, if you could take one piece of advice from this game. Always take lethal. Never let your opponent... Never let your opponent off easy. Um, the aim of the game is to win your batch. And yes, have fun whilst doing so. And yes, be respectful about it. But if you can take lethal, take it. If you can close the game, close the game. Because uh, my opponent's now sitting in, in a position where they were literally in top position. They had the game in the bag. And they're sidelined right now. Um, I don't see an easy way for my opponent to actually walk out of this game. And I do think that's a very big mistake they made by not closing the game off. I do think my opponent has their energy problems this game. So I'll give them benefit of the doubt and the fact that they're worried about their energy. That's something I do understand. 
but I do think that they made a very big mistake by not closing the game off because they showed that they did have that one energy so they could have closed off the game and they didn't and because of that I think that's a very large mistake I've got made so actually the second land turn which is always good um, let's see if we can get some good draws out that is some very good draws I uh, would quite ha happily use his ability to charge up Tornadus and to charge up the second Tornadus and let's keep that second Tornadus going up and I think I'm going to get as much damage off as I can because I'm pretty sure I'm going down next turn let's deal as much as I can so I'm fairly certain I'm losing Lantern next turn uh, it's not the end of the world. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to transfer the lightning energy over to my second lantern. But that being said, I've got a fully charged Tornadus coming in. And I should have this Tornadus online relatively quickly. And that enables me to actually just start putting damage on their bench. Um, so yeah, I'm okay with this. I'm feeling pretty comfortable. Um, two prize cards away. I will. I should be getting a prize card next turn. Worst case scenario, in three turns, this game's over. Or this turn, my opponent yielded. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that game. That really was a roller coaster. Coming back from a terrible position to a win. So again, the message from this episode: always take lethal. If you can close the game, close it. So, I hope you did enjoy uh, this episode. We're currently 2 for 2 with Soaring Storm, uh, which I'm quite happy about. Um, again, not as reliable as Laser Focus, but a lot of fun and a lot of hitting power. There's a lot of hit heavy hitters in this deck, which is very, very good, which I guess does make it quite reliable. So, thank you for watching this episode. If you did enjoy it, please do consider giving a like and subscribe, and let me know down in the comments what deck you want to see. I do have the Poke Points to buy another deck. So if there is a theme deck you're on the, on the fence of buying, let me know. I can pick it up. You can watch how it performs. And hopefully you can make a more informed decision from there. Thank you for watching, everyone. Cheers. Enjoy.